G'day guys, Elfie here. Um, this is another Minecraft Education Edition tutorial and this one is going to show you how to get custom skins into Minecraft Education Edition. So if I scroll all the way down I've got a custom skin pack here. So my thought about this is you could collate all the skins for your students in your class um, into one skin pack or multiple classes if you've got multiple classes and then the students can choose their own skin so I'm going to show you how to do that to give you an idea it's just like the texture pack or resource pack I showed you in the previous tutorial um, only it's using skins instead so I'm mean, going to start with manifest alright so if we start with manifest JSON this is what you need to have in it Okay, the same UUID stuff, you need two brand new UIDs, but that's basically it. So you can grab that from anywhere, just change the type to skin pack and the name of course. Okay, skins are just the skins you have, the name, the geometry, what texture it is, and I've left type free. So I've got four skins, Edu Elfie, Mr. A, Space Catapult and Stellar MC, and they are those guys there. The third JSON file is the one where things get tricky and that's where you need to know what sort of skin they have. So this, the geometry.eduelfi, all of this stuff as we scroll down the page here until we get to geometry someone else, tells, theoretically, tells the game what my body looks like, right? So all of that stuff to Geometry Stellar MC. Now, in this particular skin pack, all of those skins are the traditional four pixel wide arms. You can get three wide pixel arms on them if you want, uh, you just need to change that geometry and I will um, provide a, a geometry.json file with both the thin and the normal geometry for the skins in there so you can use that and base it off that. In the US language one we can open that with notepad or any text editor. Um, I've just got skinpack.educrew equals that and then educrew.mr.a da 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 da. So that's all you need and then the skin files themselves. Um, and then all you need to do is copy that into your users, username, app data, local packages, Minecraft, education edition, local state games, com, mojang, skin packs, copied into here. All of that stuff is there. It's not a zip file, it's not anything, it's just a, a, a folder with all of those other files underneath it. And what that allows you to do is have that skin pack down here. So I could be any of the edu crew if I chose to be. Of course I want to be myself so that's pretty much it as I said I will collate the geometry.json I'll have normal geometry.normal and change the name and geometry.thin and you can change the name there as well and just copy them as many times as you need so what I've done here so probably the easiest way would be to search for change name here or whatever I've got there and then change it for each individual skin that you have um, and that name relates so that geometry.eduelfi that relates into the skins.json file so geometry is geometry.eduelfi so you just need to have these files and I will provide the eduelfi sorry the edu crew um, skin pack for you to work from if you would like that might be the easiest way and then I'll add um, a separate geometry for the thin skin. All right, I think that's it. I'm going to call it there. Uh, it's very exciting. We did some testing earlier. <laughs> uh, thanks to Ben and Trish for coming and helping me. Um, and this skin pack doesn't need to be on every world on every student's computer. Um, of course, in the context of the classroom, it probably should be, but in the context of um, I had the skin pack on my computer, um, both Ben and Trish joined my world, 
uh, and they could both see me. Now, initially, Ben couldn't, and I think that was because it was trying to send my skin to him and we didn't give it enough time. Um, but when Trish logged in, she could see my skin. So I believe that this means we can now have custom player skins in Minecraft Education Edition at this stage. Um, and that's where I'm going to leave it. I'll show you what it looks like in world. Um, oh, one thing I probably should mention, if you are pulling Java skins, um, I've got a jacket on here and there's no way to turn that on and off. Um, and if we go into here, you can see that Mr. A has, I can't rotate now, there I can, has glasses on. And again, there's no way to turn that off. In Java Edition, if kids are used to Java Edition, there was a way to do that in the skins area in the back end, um, but there's no way to do that in here. That's the only limitation I've seen so far. So um, grab your Java skins and create a pack and throw it at all your students' computers and away you go. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.